Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Rebecca Kim with your morning news update. Let's go start with the top story here. A 24 year old man has been charged with a second degree criminal sexual conduct for sexually assaulting a minor who is related to him. Jesse Cruz is accused of laying on top of the victim on one occasion between 2012 and 2013. The second assault happened just last month, according to the complaint. The victim told police that Cruz picked up the victim from school, took her to his girlfriend's house, and instructed the girl to take a shower. He then joined her and began fondling her private parts as the victim cried. Cruz's father learned about the fact and turned his son into the police. And Cruz is being held on $20,000 bail. His next hearing is on December 5th at 4 p.m. GTA customers can expect faster speeds and a smoother network because GTA has doubled its spectrum. To meet its growing customers demand, the telecompany is acquiring 42 megahertz of wireless spectrum, boosting its capacity for high-speed wireless service. Earlier this year, GTA acquired 10 megahertz of spectrum. With this latest addition, GTA will own 97 megahertz of spectrum. In 2015, GTA plans on investing $15 million in the GTA network. Ocean freight company Matson Navigation has announced that it will be increasing its shipping rates for Guam by $225 per container. In a press release, Matson announced that both eastbound and westbound rates will be affected and the rates will increase, a rate increase will take an effect on January 2015 of next year. Senior Vice President David Hoff says that this is only the second rate increase for Guam and the Micronesia in the, in the last four years. He says operating costs have continued to increase, which is why they've hiked up their rates. The new rates will apply to Guam, CNMI, the FSM, Palau, and the Marshall Islands. All right, that was your morning news update. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your turkey today.